Question number eighty-six: The transport layer of the OSI framework provides a mechanism for the exchange of data between end systems. Examples of protocols that operate on the transport layer include what number A B C D. We know the OSI framing is means open system interconnections. They have the different layers. They have total seven layers. We know the seven layers for the solution. They have the application layer. They have the presentation layer. They have the session layer. They have transport. What layer? A network layer. They have the data link layer. There's a physical layer. There's total seven. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We know this one and two is called the hot hot well or frame layer. And this total five, we call the software. We know the transport transport layer. We always use the it's called the end called the end to end communication. Use TCP and UDP protocols, and the net network use this IP and TCP for the network. What is the TCP? What is the UDP? TCP misses. Transmission, transmission, control, protocol. The UTP is called the user data gram protocol. This is for the communication. The always use because this UTP is the time sensitive transmission, such as the video playback. When you use the, for example, for someone doing the live stream, and the computer send the signal out, we don't check the the end use. What is the end use? We don't see. So for the For the TCP, what the TCP with the UTP difference? We can draw the diagram. This is the computer. This is the user. This for the TCP. And this is UDP. We can call this the computer. This is the user. For the TCP, we have to send the sync synchronize to the this is called the sender. This is called the receiver. Receiver the same. This is the sender. This is the receiver. The first one we need to send the sync 
synchronize check. And this, this receiver send back the sync acknowledge. Sync acknowledge. Then we are sending another acknowledge to the receiver. So we need first send the sync to the receiver. Receiver get the sync synchronized. Then send back synchronize acknowledge. Then the, this. Send no, this is ready. Then send the glory to this receiver. And for the UDP, UDP, this is from the receiver. Food from the receiver send the request. Send to the sender because the sender don't know where is the receiver, and they get the request then. Keep going to send the response. Keep going to response. For example, when someone doing the live stream here, in the same times, and all the audience, all the the viewers, then send the request. Send the request with this information. Then the computer just send the information out. It don't care who's the request the who and this is already receive or not receive, it don't care. Just send it, keep send out. So this one is fast. This is slow. The speed. The, the speed is slow. Because this need to send the uh, synchronize and get this one to get the response to the sender. Then send it. Keep going, so it will uh, come by force many times. This is fast, this is no. So for the transport layer, always use the TCP and the UTP here. Yeah. For the network, we always use the IP and the TCP. So the correct answer you see here, A, B, C, D, it should be C. The transport, transport, transport layer include the TCP and the UTP, UDP.